Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna ask ourselves or I'm gonna ask myself was that haul worth it? <laughs> um, okay so this is a bunch of stuff that I bought in October 2019 and um, I man what is wrong with me i have six eyeshadow palettes in this tub and one single eyeshadow <sighs> okay uh, let's just get started so i obviously made a color pop order in october or maybe in october maybe in september and it arrived in october i don't know i don't remember i don't re-watch the videos i just checked my list of things that I featured in the video. So I have the whatever palette. Um, when I pulled this out and I looked at it, I was like, oh, she's so pretty. Then I was like, oh shit, I never used it. Jesus Christ. I'm actually thinking I need to do a, like a little series for a little while of um, like using makeup that I purchased and never used. Um, I also have these guys. These are cream gel liners. So on my list, I've got, uh, what have I got? I've got Joyride, Besto, and Venus. So I have all three of them here. I've kept them. Um, I don't know if they're still good. I'm going to swatch them and find out. Okay, well, look, they're all fine. They're all just fine. So uh, this one here is Joyride. The red is Venus, and then the this one on this side uh, is Besto, um, and they're fine. I would say Venus definitely has the nicest feeling formula. It's really smooth and glidey, whereas these guys feel a little bit drier, but they've gone on smooth enough, so that's not an issue. I do remember that being the case when I bought them, and kind of being a little bit surprised at how vastly different the formulas were now there were a few other things on the list i have the uh color pop joy ride gel liner so they're the gel liners are in the pots the cream gel liners are the pencils um i also had the mascara in wine o'clock and i no longer have them um i've obviously decluttered them because they were crap uh so there's that i don't know i don't remember when i decluttered them i don't know if they're currently in my declutter drawer they might be or if i've like decluttered them at some other stage earlier in the year i don't know i don't actually keep track of what i declutter well actually that's a complete and utter fucking lie i do i've been keeping track all year um but i don't remember when i got rid of them um but that also tells me that if i don't remember them it's good that i got rid of them because they weren't memorable something that was memorable were my goodies from victoria beckham beauty so i picked up the smoky eye brick in tweed it's stunning um, I also picked up the Satin Coal, no, Satin Kajal liner in Bordeaux. Um, no, not that end. It's got a smudger on one end and then the, um, oh my lord. <laughs> okay. Wow, the formula of that is insane. Um, it's vastly different to the ColourPop. I can say that much. I haven't used this in ages like I don't even remember last time I used it um and I also have the lid luster in blondie blonde blonde uh which is that one there um sad to say yeah I don't actually remember last time I used these and this is you know I've said this a, a million times this is why I'm trying to whittle down my collection and buy less and you know get rid of the things that don't excite me and don't inspire me i have done my eyeshadow palettes i went through them i cleared them out um and i plan on doing the rest of my collection probably sometime in november but i probably won't publish the videos until december um but you guys will get to see that and experience it right alongside me um yeah i'm just working on getting everything a bit 
just less have less stuff um it's easier to appreciate it all. Next thing on my list is from Marc Jacobs. This is a highliner, liquid gel eyeliner in blacker. So historically I love Marc Jacobs eyeliners um, and this is like a liquid version. Now I don't mind this but I don't love it. Um, it doesn't dry matte, it dries with a sheen but it also has, um, if you have used any of the JD Glow um, liquid gel liners, that's very similar to what this formula is. Um, it can crack, it can peel off the skin. Now, I don't mind dealing with that when I'm using like a JD, JD Glow liquid multi-chrome um, as a liner that's fine like I know that they offer something special and I can look beyond a formula that's not quite perfect but when it's a black eyeliner and there are literally thousands of them on the market and available to me at any given time and I've got countless of them in my drawer okay they're not countless we could definitely count them, but I'm not going to because I don't care that much. But I have a shitload of them already sitting in a drawer right behind me. It makes me think like it's just not, it doesn't, it doesn't get over the bar for me. Um, so personally, I wouldn't buy more of these unless it was like a super special color. I was gifted one. It's like a beautiful sort of a slight pinky red one um Kat and Simon gave it to me I believe for my birthday last year and I love that one you know like it's it's special to me because it was gift and it's a beautiful special color it's quite unique to what I own but when it's a black one it's like you, your formula's got to be good otherwise I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back and buy you again and I'm not gonna reach for you too much so there's that but I'm not I'm not gonna get rid of it I'm just gonna try and cycle through them eventually I just won't repurchase it okay let's talk about a selection of palettes that I purchased from Huda so these are the nude medium light and rich palettes um so I bought these because you know nude eyeshadow is it's so beautiful um but it turns out that when you actually put them on they're just pink they're very very heavily pink and I mean fair that one looks quite pink but this one I don't understand like there's a couple of shades in there that pull a little bit pink but they all look pink when you put them on I don't get it I don't I don't understand and same with this yeah again there are some like pinky tones in there but there's also like cool tones and plummy tones and red tones and why do they come off pink I don't understand it's like witchcraft but not good witchcraft it's like pink witchcraft I don't know it's fucking weird um anyway I don't hate them they're just not what I wanted them to be um I like I just wish they were actually beautiful like nude palettes but they're just they're pink palettes they're pink so that was interesting I don't know how she did it but she did it whether you personally think that is like a good thing or not that's that's your opinion mine is my opinion on that would be what the fuck how do you do that the next things that I purchased were from Makeup Revolution. So I purchased their Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid and Acai. Uh, this is in the shade C5. I don't know if I've used this. I have to have used it. I've at least swatched it. So that's the shade there. I should use this. I have no idea how I feel about it. I don't remember if I've used it or just swatched it or what. It's still got half of like the the plastic like protective wrapper on it. So let's take that off and um, I'll put this in my everyday makeup tub and I'll have a play with it. I'm actually, um, I've got 
a makeup revolution um, concealer in my project pan at the moment and I, it's like I'm scraping the edges of that thing so it's about time that I get a new concealer in my life um, and there you go that one was just handed to me on a platter the next thing is this palette from makeup revolution you'll know when you see the inside you'll know why why I purchased it can you tell can you tell that one shade? Yep, 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 I know. That's really ridiculous. Um, again, I have not used this. Um, and I think like when I was doing my eyeshadow collection video and trying to declutter some things, I was like, I've got to at least give it a go and see how I feel about it. And you know, if it stays, it stays. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, so I think you know maybe that could be rotated into um my eyeshadow project maybe maybe the next update or whatever it's it's kind of hard i'm not really wearing a lot of makeup at the moment um so you know it it's hard to be like oh i use this eyeshadow palette once this month and i know how i feel about it because it's simply that's not how it works so um yeah, everything's kind of slow going with my makeup at the moment, but I do need to eventually one day get around to trying it. Maybe again, this is why I should do that series where I use makeup that I've never fucking used before, but I've owned it for like 20 years. What's wrong with me? Okay, and my last item, also something that I haven't used, this is from Glass House. This is the Merry and Bright Pineapple Mint Fizz Candle. Now, I usually always buy a holiday candle or 20 from glass house every year uh, and i believe this was their new scent for last year if it wasn't their new scent then i i'd never s smelt it before it smells like bow peep candies if you're familiar with those little like tiny little hard candies you used to be able to get at daryl lee so i haven't burnt this candle um because i have been working through other glass house candles this year and just other candles that I own in general and I've actually made pretty good progress like I I've, I've been happy um with how many I've used I haven't purchased any this year I think I'm okay with the fact that I haven't used this uh I did you know I always okay so it seems to me that glass house bring out a new holiday scent every year and then they re-release some older scents now i get a little bit like fomo ish when i see what i think of the new scents because i'm worried that they won't bring them back and if i like it then i at least want to purchase it once and own it um so that's kind of what i do with this and then you know they build up over time and i've got a lot of candles and Sure, I can burn them every day for a year and I'll get through quite a few of them, but um, it's like I don't actually burn them every day of the year. So they build up. Um, now they did, they brought this back this year. They brought back uh, Merry and Bright and I think they have a new one. And I can't promise that if we're ever allowed to go to the shops <laughs> before Christmas that I won't smell it and buy the new one uh, and then hoard that away until this time next year i don't know i like i probably will because that's what i do and slowly i work myself out of the bad habits um but anyway i've got it i don't regret it it smells delicious like i want to eat it i can't and there's oh, pineapple mint fizz you could turn that into a cocktail put some vodka in it or some rum or even some gin or all of the above <laughs> hey it's christmas time do whatever the fuck you want anyway there we go i have that candle it smells delicious i'm not really a fan of these new jars but it's all right whatevs you do what what you want glass house all right guys so that is it for my october 2019 haul recap was that haul worth it look hailing you bought too many fucking eyeshadow palettes six eyeshadow palettes in a month that's not even that's more than one a week like it's fucking insanity it's stupid i shouldn't have done that but i did it and uh, now i've got them here and they make me feel guilty about my life 
but you know it is what it is let me know if you guys can think back to your october 2019 purchases and how you feel about them now were any like amazing purchases were any a little bit of a regret did you overspend we're getting into that time of the year where it's very easy to get caught up in the holiday releases um, and actually speaking of holiday releases i'm probably going to do another mini series of um my holiday purchases that i'm not allowed to make video i know uh, a lot of people enjoyed that last year and i've had a few people ask me about it this year for warning though um i am concerned that pretty much what i spoke about in the video last year is going to be shit that i'm talking about in the video this year it's gonna sort of follow very much the same vein of things that i'm trying not to purchase um but that doesn't mean that once I get to the shops, I'm actually going to be able to resist the purchases. That's the whole point, to make myself accountable. When we get to the part where you guys get to actually see what I purchased, that's where the judgment happens. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave your comments down below. Um, I do read them. I'll try to reply to them. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'll leave it there. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.